This is the Dripping Pan, home of Lewis FC, but it's also home to something else, equality. The Rooks are the first and only side in the world to have equal playing budgets for both their men and women's teams. First introduced in 2017, they now hope that off the back of a successful Women's World Cup, others will finally follow suit. It's something that I think the other clubs should wake up to. I think they are making a big mistake by not investing properly in their women's team because there are people out there that really want to watch. There's people that, out there that are true supporters that will pay their money, that want to pay their money. When you think about it, football is just a game. So if we cannot crack this idea of equality in what is essentially just a game, how will we do it in politics? How will we do it in economics? How will we do it in law? Lewis's women's team play in England's second tier and are managed by Fran Alonso, a former assistant of Maurizio Pochettino. For the squad, having parity with their male counterparts makes them feel valued. I felt like home straight away. Um, so yeah, all the same kit, all the same training facilities, same pitch. Um, so it just makes you feel even. Like when you go on the pitch, you know that, that you're just exactly the same as everyone else. So yeah, I think it's really important. Lewis are also a community-owned football club and current chair Stuart Fuller now thinks that their equality drive should be supported by the football hierarchy. At the top level of the, uh, of the FA Cup, so a team like Manchester, Manchester City winning the FA Cup, maybe they win £2 million for that. Do they really need that? Is that £2 million in their budget? Is that £2 million something that's a game changer for them? No. What about if you halve the prize money and then put the half of that prize money into the women's FA Cup? you start moving towards equality. Why not? It's the same game. It's the same pitch. You know, there's, there's absolutely nothing different from the women's game to the men's game, apart from the gender. That's it. Since Lewis FC introduced equality, the women's team have gone from strength to strength. But it isn't just the females here that have felt the benefit. The whole club has had a boost. Sometimes people think that we've taken something away from the men, that you can only have equality if you take something away. And actually, we haven't taken a penny away from the men's side of the club. And the men's team have been able to see rising attendances uh, in the same way that we've seen rising attendances with the women. In that first season, um, the men's team got promoted. First time the men's team had been promoted for over a decade. We standardised the model of, of how we pay our players and we see success. So what for the future? After a Women's World Cup that captured the imagination and was watched in record numbers, do the Trailblazers at Lewis expect much to change? I think it's definitely going to get more investments, more TV time, more fans, which is what, what we need in order to get more money for the game and, and it's just kind of like a ripple effect. Yeah, I think it's going to develop so much. Um, even in like sort of like the next year, I think it's going to develop massively. So I think, yeah, by the time I come to hang up the boots, as it said, um, I think it, it will be a completely different game. This small club in southern England continues to be at the forefront of the equality drive in football. There's hope in many quarters that the Women's World Cup can be a watershed moment. But for now, Lewis are happy to lead the way.